All right, guys, I figure I'd make you a quick graft real quick to explain what's going on with this car. Um, like, this tar gets the pulley now. Um, the first video I was talking about, we had good air. It was cool. Um, humidity was down. We've seen a peak boost of 7.5. At the last track run, we saw a minimum of 5.5 and, and only peak 6. And that was due to a, a shitload of humidity and uh, just really just wasn't good air. So what I wanted to explain is that's that's peak. That's peak RPM, let's say. I think we're going 6,200. So it would be, this would be 6,200 up here. And that would be peak boost. So everything under is a gradual linear line to zero. So like I said, this is the pulley now. And I'm about to change it for this one, which the new target will be a minimum of nine. Hopefully tonight, which is shit air. I'm hoping to see nine on a good night. A maximum of 11 but I'm hoping to see right around 10 in the 10 range and this is just uh, a, a guesstimate basically off of some math and stuff of what it should make you know we won't really know until it's on the car and, and see but so let's say if our this is our middle point on each you can see we're gonna pick up a pretty good range of power if you cut these through the middle or just focus on this line and this line you know it's a pretty good range but what's cool about the way this blower works is uh, and, and the reason it, it the boost varies also with the uh, temperature is it's fixed like there's no wastegate like turbo cars you set a boost the wastegate controls it so it really doesn't matter where the air is it's always going to kind of maintain that boost the blower being belt driven and centrifugal and all that stuff, um, it really affects it pretty hardcore. Um, even the Hellcats and stuff are, you know, the same thing. Some of the root stuff will be down, but it just doesn't seem to affect it as bad. But it's still a pretty good amount. But anyway, uh, what's great about this, starting at zero, is drivability for one. So when you're cruising around town, you're not like in and out of part throttle boost all crazy. And two, it's really easy on the the stock engines being the boost is made at the upper rpm and the torque and everything like that so it, it keeps the low end stress on the engine down quite a bit and uh traction getting out of uh getting out of the hole and it lets you ramp up and control it more now you can bring this low end up with the wastegate and the other thing i want to explain like a roots blower when people talk about like 10 pounds you can be at zero here and the roots can kind of ramp up like this. It has a broader curve. So it's a lot more aggressive coming in, whereas these are linear, like I said. So that gives you a little bit of a explanation on what's going on with it, I think. I'm trying not to get too technical or spend too much time talking about this shit, but like I said, the levels now are, are weather dependent, but we're still gonna see a rise. And these are my targets. So let's get at it. say why I'm not going to do anything else. My uh, stupid cable that I used to log decided to fuck up, so I can't really log to get it any closer than it already is. So that's where we're kind of stuck. So, but she, pull, she pulls. So, I mean, so far so good. At least we know where the boost is at. Um, kind of explain what the target was. It's a little bit above the target, but I made some other adjustments, so it's probably a lot of the issue. But, I mean... It's gonna run. <laughs> so, the car's got fucking tens in it all day. I'm happy with it. And this is way dialed back. Um, I still gotta put the fuel system in, put it on the 85. 
we ain't even on no timing right now it's dialed back um, so I don't know I'm expecting to see maybe like another 70 80 wheel horsepower out of it so yeah I don't know and y'all let me know if you want to see uh, the fuel system install and shit um, with that I'll actually show some of the uh, logging and pulls of uh, where it is at least emailed and then when it comes time to dyno or whatever I'll just document it as best as I can y'all just need to tell me tell me what you want so and these shocks are fucking awesome I love them <laughs>